Hey yo, so the Alchemist dropped a while ago. I'm late. I know. I'm sorry, but uh, you know he dropped this thing of ours, Volume One and Volume Two. Uh, for some reason, on Spotify, the first one is considered an album, but it's probably because of the track length and it added just the instrumentals on it. But Volume Volume Two dropped uh, when they, either last week or two weeks ago. Volume One dropped in. This one dropped April 30th, you know, fire, 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 fire stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, but nah, first off, the cover art for the genre is dope as hell. Jalen put the cover art somewhere up here. But the cover art is super dope. I like volume two. I'm sorry. I like volume two more. The cover art, at least, you know, pretty dope shit. But nah, Alchemist, you know, he drops projects fairly often. It would be collab projects or his own little projects with just, like, features or whatnot. But, you know, let's, let's just get into it. This thing about Volume 1, super dope. These are all those albums that are like four, five, six songs. The first one has four songs. And, you know, Earth Switch is on here twice. The first one you got with Neighbor Blue, it's pretty fucking dope. Right? Sample fires out. Earl, doing her old things. Landed, invested in arts. I do less when I stretch before I hit the bar. Pull up, saying crest on the sh This song just sounds like an intro. Like that, 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 that. Bum, bum, bum. It just sounds like an intro. I don't know. My hair can get my fucking face. But right, yeah. It's not like an intro. Next song, TV Dinners. That guitar sample be having me feel like a huge sense of existential dread, bro. I had that bitch on repeat when the song came out. Like, what's this, bro? Together for a circle, did a 360. Cut it with killing off the noise. Spot so hot, got the paint peeling off the walls. Quarter half brick, whole brick. I can move it all. Auntie wanna quit, getting sick, going through the drugs. Bro, yeah. yeah. That instrumental can make a grown man cry, bro. Luckily, I'm not a grown man. Holy hell, it was cool. It was like, it, I'm fucking with it. Loose change, though. Travis is serve as a challenge coin. I'm the boy, so I had to speak for the org. I don't know how, but this song sound like a fucking outro as well. And I'm still waiting on that Earl and Alchemist project. I know it exists. Apparently, they already dropped it on YouTube. I think they're trolling us. That's fucking cap. But I know it exists. Well, just like release it officially, bro. Guarantee one of the best projects of the year if it does drop. But yeah, vol volume one is pretty fucking dope. Volume two, which dropped not too long ago, it's considered an EP. Also pretty fucking dope. He dropped it with the uh, the single Miracle Baby, featuring Mabby. Is this this song is pretty fucking dope, bro? Like the emotion that Mabby voice kind of fire. Cause milk can make those bitter sweet. Start thinking about love differently. Stop taking so much seriously. I'm taking all that's given to me. Lick a picture, click a hit it. But no, that that's not really dope. Talks about on Twitter say a potential song of the year contender. Mm, no, top twenty, yes. Mm. Top thirty. All right, yeah. Song of the year, nah. But. Uh, followed by Lossless featuring Mike. It was, this is John is this is shit you listen to in your eye. We was torn from the rice to the floor by the prize, so my core was a righteous, a chore to buy a crop of more when the night hit. Bruh, the way Mike flowing on this drum, I love this nigga flow, bro. This flow is crazy. And that the the drums and the horns it's Other two songs featuring Bruiser Brigade, English Bruiser Brigade, I don't know what that is, but that was alright, I don't know if it's from uh, The Loopers, I don't know who this nigga is, but, you know, still, still, still cool songs, cool songs, but what I think is the real gem of this album is 6-5 Heartbeats featuring Vince Staples, this sample, dog, I need the Vince and Out project as well, Vince said it exists, but I don't be dropping it because the nigga's always high. Like, come on, bro. Drop the fucking album, man. I said this already. I'm saying it again. Drop the album, Al. Drop the album! Drop the album! Drop the album. That's all you gotta do! All you gotta do is drop the album! Drop it today! Drop it today! Drop it today! All you gotta do! All you gotta do is drop the album! You got my favorite song on it! You got my favorite song on it! You got my favorite song on it! Drop the album! You got my favorite song on it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
done us lit enough to see a Glock jam. Couldn't take the heat, so you bought fan. My mama helped my daddy bag the dope. That's real love. I love this song, bro. That uh, is. It's amazing, man. Vince is very underrated. I think Vince is very underrated. He's a great rapper, very easy to understand as well. I mean, that's what he's saying. Very, very, very dope shit. Now, like, he, at this point in time, my favorite producer of all time. Like, it's, it's, you're not topping out today, bro. Who topping out today? Outside of maybe, like, Mad Lib. Maybe Derringer. Like, niggas in that, in that sampling category. Mad Lib, Derringer, Conductor Williams, Kevin Flash Monk. Benny Lafayette. You know what I mean? But nah, this 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 is really dope. Definitely one of my favorite projects of the year. Uh, both of them. You know what I mean? So like, I I, I need more out. Drop, drop drop one more before the year over. Y'all y'all know West Side Gun is probably supposed to be dropping Side C in October. I don't know how true this is, but if you're dropping it, then <sighs> this is the year of Griselda, bro. Anyway. Now, I hope y'all know niggas enjoy me. Like, comment, subscribe, share with y'all. My man, y'all, cuz I'm listening to it. I was fat to say, I'm fat as fuck with y'all.